Okay, welcome again to Digitizing Your Expertise, and we are talking about how to digitize your expertise into a podcast, all right? So let's just dive right into it. Last time we spoke about why a podcast or what is a podcast. Now we're going to talk today about, hey, how podcast works, okay? So let's get right in. How does podcast work? So all you do is record your audio files. Of course, you have to record it on a particular platform. Then you actually upload it into a channel app. Those channel app, you have several of them. I just have one here, but really and truly, there are a lot of channel apps that you can actually use. We're going to show you the different ones. Then we deal with the feeder. The feeder organizes the different audio files into a list, like a curriculum. And this is called RSS feeder. RSS feeder organizes the curriculums so that people can actually choose which one they want to listen to or follow an episode, a sequence of episodes, all right? Of course, after that, the audience listen to your podcast. Voila, that's it. Podcast is created and is consumed. That's basically. So let's go into more details. So recording apps. Um, some of the recording apps include um, GarageBand. Um, you have like Audacity you can use to record your podcast, right? You have Logic Pro X, which is really an Apple software that you can use on Apple platform. And then you have Adobe, right? So Adobe does its own thing where it actually allows you to record and upload at the same time. Um, Apple can do it where you can record from Apple and go directly to the Apple Podcast player or platform, which gives you a channel at the same time. So you have like a two-in-one uh, benefit with the Apple, all right? But any of them can be used to record your podcast, of course. Now, more detail. Now, channel apps has the RSS feeder, the RSS feeder, organizes all the things that up, that you upload into sequence. And this could be like Apple Podcasts, um, you have Spotify, you have Castro, um, Pocket Cast, all of these, um, right? <clears throat> Evercast. And of course, Google Podcasts, which is one of the most popular, um, Breaker. And you can do your own podcasting. For example, if you want to host it on your website instead of hosting on a channel site, you can actually host it on your own website. Say, for example, use Audacity to record your files and then upload them into your website. And you could organize them yourself. You could actually use a, a what do you call a, um, a plugin on your website that arranges it in a, with the RSS feeder, arranges it into different curriculums. So people can actually download one after the next, right? So that's basically some of the things you can do, right? So. I thank you for coming again. This is how podcast works. Three simple steps, and then you have your people listening to your podcast, all right? Hey, thanks for listening. And remember, next time, what we're going to do, we are going to talk about how to plan your podcast, all right? But for right now, look at how to podcast and how podcast works. And if you want more information, details about podcasting, setting up your own podcast, digitizing your expertise into any of the products, digital products, just click the link below, get onto my calendar, and you can book a time and meet with me for consultation. And we can discuss, hey, what are your options? All right? Get you more detailed information. All right? Thanks for listening, and bye-bye.